Yeah, guys, what's happening? As you can see, I've been sent out something else to review. If you're new to my channel, what I am going to do is show you around the box, do a little unboxing and then set it up and that's the process what I normally do. So I'm going to dive straight into it. I've been really looking forward to getting this because I've never had anything like it before. Um, if you've read the title, you can see it's a projector and it's pretty much a little media centre as well. You can have Cody and everything on it or you can just watch your films off it. The make of it is Eodyne. They did send us an Android box, uh, maybe he's a few weeks or maybe it's a couple of months ago and I did do a video on that so if you want to check it I'll put that in the description on the front and on the back we've got Eodyne and on the sides it's blank there's nothing on them but if we flip over to the back here we've got with little logos for which were YouTube with Facebook and yada 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 and this is just telling you it's Wi-Fi and USB it's an Eodyne smart projector and the model is a T89 it is it's a 5 volt in, uh, input and it's RAM and memory is 1 gig and 32. There's two different versions of this what you get. I've got the 32 gig and the other one is the 8 gig. The difference being this one I can plug say an Xbox or a PlayStation into this and project whatever is inputted. The other one is only an output so if you plugged in HDMI and you plugged it in your television you'd have to use this as like a media center kind of thing. So what I'm going to do now is do the little unboxing and show you what it's all about and what you actually get. So first off, this is the actual projector itself. As you can see, it's a lovely, nice, shiny, gloss, white finish. And this is your navigation pad and your OK. You've got your back button, your menu button, and this one's depowered on and off. On the left hand side here, you've got your focus, and this one is to change it to either a projector or if you're plugging it into the telly. This is a little slot for your SD cards. On here, this is where you want to shine your infrared for your remote to, to get it to work. And on this side, we've got two USBs and we've got a DC to charge it. You can use it just like this. You don't have to have it plugged in. The battery, I think, lasts up to about three hours. You've got this for your earphones and this one's for your HDMI. This one's for your air out because there's a little tiny fan inside to keep it cool and this fires the air out and this one's obviously your little lens on the bottom here we've got another vent where obviously sucks the air in and this is your speaker it's only one I don't believe it's two I think it's just one speaker that goes all the way across and down here this is just basically telling you what it said on the back of the box for some reason it says Ultra HD but it's not Ultra HD that would be 4K and it's only 1080p this is your standard um, tripod size so you do get a little tripod inside what I'm going to show you and you just connect that but it's not the best. I use my own tripod, what I got on eBay, I think I paid about £8 and it's absolutely awesome. Down here I've just missed that, that says 32GB so you know which one you've got. And that's pretty much everything, as you can see it's it's really small. I'm not, color, I'm, I'm not sure what colour that is. You'll probably know better than me. It's sort of a, a rose gold colour I think. So I'll put this to the side and show you what else I get inside the box. We've got the user manual but that's pretty much just everything what I've just told you. There's the remote one I'm going to show you in a second and all the buttons what I've just showed you and there's Cody. So inside we've got a few different compartments and in the first compartment we've got an HDMI lead so you can hook this up to whatever you want to hook it up to and inside this little bag we've got a little tiny tripod. I'll be honest, this tripod, what I've just mentioned there, isn't very good. It does work, but it's not very good at all because it's only small. If you want to project something onto the wall, I'd recommend getting a, a tripod that's really tall because this just isn't going to cut it. And inside this compartment is your power source. Let's move, that, move them out of the way. And if we get the little connection port thing, you can see it's only a small one. I don't know if that's focused or whatever, but that's only a small one. On an Android box, it's a lot thicker, um, and that's that. And finally, we've got a remote, which is exactly the same as the remote what I got sent for the Eodyne Android box. It's got a little tag on the bottom there. So there, you've got no batteries. And if I close that, you can see it's just infrared. That's obviously point at it. It's not Bluetooth or anything like that. And the remote is just a standard little remote of your navigation, your power, your mute, and these little buttons, and your little home button. But what I am using, I've got a little keyboard, and I just plug the little dongle into here, and I just use the mouse and the keypad from my keyboard, which I find a million times easier. 
So what I'm going to do now is set it all up and show you it working. I totally forgot to put this bit in the video. I'm putting this at the start now. I've already done the setup process, which you'll see in a second, but this was just a little feature that I wanted to show you anyways. At the moment, I've got the camera on my little tripod and it's on the wall. If I do aim it up, you can see the sides go a little bit funny, but it sorts itself out. So if I go right at the bottom, there you go, it sorts itself. And if I put it back in the middle, it goes back to normal. So that's one little party piece that it does. So if you've got it aimed up or aimed down, it'll sort itself out and do the edges. Well, we're all set up and this is what it looks like. I'll actually show you the way I've got it set up. You're probably going to laugh. I've got it on a laptop table and then I've got quite a few books on top just to make it to the right size or height, should I say, to what I want it to be. Like I did mention, I have got a tripod, which I'm using now for my phone, so I cannot use that, so I cannot use them both at the same time. But I really, really would recommend buying a, a tripod to use it. I'm going to turn the light off now so you can see it's much better, because at the moment I've got the light on and obviously you're not supposed to use them like this. So you should have seen there that it looks a million times better now in the dark. This is the the best time to use these. If I go to settings, I can show you a couple of things inside of here. So if I go to the bottom, and I'll show you which one it's running, which is Android 4.4.4, .4, which you can see there, tells you the model number. And if I go to apps, there was loads of pre-installed apps, but I deleted loads because there were ones that I just wasn't going to use. Cody was version 14.2, so I've obviously put 16.1 on. I know people will say 17 is out, but it's still in the testing stages, so I wouldn't really recommend it. If we come down to... where is it? Where is it? It's further up, isn't it? If we go to display, you've got different things what you can use on this, so your brightness. There you go, I can put it right down, or you can have it really bright. You've got for your colour temperatures, your RGB, and your projector model, so you can set to whatever you like but all inside here is just basic Android stuff what you'd find in an Android box or an Android phone sound it is coming through the speakers on this but if you do have a Bluetooth sound bar or if you have a surround sound you can set that up with the um, the Bluetooth I'm a bit confused with everything at the moment and um, if you go to explore you can have a look inside here if you plug a hard drive or a memory stick. I've got a memory stick in at the moment. So if I click on this and I go down to this one. I haven't really got anything that's bright. Everything's dark pictured. Um, I'll tell you what, I click on War Dogs. It's asking us what I want to play it with. I'm just going to use that. That's the first thing I've clicked on. And I don't know how well this is picking it up, but the picture quality is actually pretty good for how big it is. So I'll fast forward this a little bit and click that. See all these scenes are dark. I did want to show you something that was really bright but obviously I can't. Oh, I've just noticed something. I can just press fast forward and it does it. Oh, I didn't know he was in it. So that's what that looks like. And now what I'm going to show you is Cody. I'll just show you that working. And as always, I've got the Pulse build, that's the main build what I use, and I recommend it everyone because it's got everything that you'd ever need. So once this is opened up, what you want to do is you want to come over to Movies, and if you go to 1, 2, 3 Movies, which is one of my favourite ones, reason being because it's just a one touch, meaning you don't have to search for links, you just click it and you're done. Um, this is running off my Wi-Fi as well. It's upstairs and I'm downstairs, so I'm quite a little bit of a distance. But we'll see anyway how fast it picks stuff up. Um, what will we click on? Something that's going to be bright. None of these films are really bright. I'll tell you what, we'll go on Find Dory. No, we won't. We'll go on... Have, have I clicked that? I think I've clicked it. We're too late. So that's how fast that started. I'm not sure what it's running in. 720, I tell you what, I'm going to come out of this because I, I don't want anything 720, I want 1080. Secret Life of Pets, we'll go on that. Start from the beginning. And you can see there how fast that picks up. Right, this one's this one's 1080, so if I press up. And up again. 
and that's just me going through that. And the picture quality, like I say, it's really good. I can adjust it though, if I, you can see there, it's gone really blurry. And then if I go the other way, it goes blurry that way, but you can, you can adjust it. It's a little bit tricky to get it perfect. Nearly got it, nearly got it, there, there, that's, that's perfect. And if I press play, and I press up, skip another 10 minutes, and another 10 minutes, and that's what it looks like. There's nothing really much else I can show you on the box, um, or the projector, I should say. I'll tell you what, we'll come back out of it. And the last thing what I can do is do a little speed test just to see how well this Wi-Fi is actually working. So what I'm going to do now is find where I've put speed test. I think I have put it in here. So I'll quickly install this and I'll be back in a second to do a test. And they will have it installed. That took no time at all. So if I go in here and I should find speed test. There you go. It's over there. We'll click on it. And we'll just see how well it's actually picking the Wi-Fi up. So I'm going to begin the test. It's going to do its pings and then it's going to do the download and then it's going to do the upload. Looks like it's 46. No, it's gone right down. What was that? 42 and a half it was and then the upload is 10. To be honest, you only need about 5 meg anyways. I'm on 160 meg, but this mustn't run on 5G, it must just be running on the 2G. But that's more than enough for uh, for me. As I mentioned, there's not really much else I can show you. You can uh, browse the internet, do whatever you want on it. Um, go on the Google Play Store. Uh, they are apps that are pre-installed. Loads of these ones. Uh, you can use Showbox and loads of other things, which I like to use on Android boxes, unfortunately. You can't use them on the Fire TV stick. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If we come into here and we'll search for something, we'll search for... I don't know what what shall, what shall we search for. I'm going to search for a car and we'll just see how fast it picks up. Audi RS5. And if we click images, then there we have it done and that's what it looks like on the big screen if you do want any for information on this just ask us if you've got any questions or whatever and it's a thumbs up from me it's a really really good little thing to have i'm going to put the link in the description if anyone's interested in buying one or if you've got one let us know what you think of it and what your ups and downs are